What's up everyone, my name is Nugark, welcome to Dead in Bermuda. This is a survival management game with some RPG and adventure elements in it, and it's basically about a group of eight people that survive a plane crash, but I believe the story in the introduction will get into that. So I'm gonna hop right into it so we can get the, get the party started, and get the story started. I did play a little bit just so I knew what, what to expect, so I'm just gonna overwrite that. This will delete all the saves, that's totally fine. So this is our intro. Mmm. Got some got some tunes. Not anymore. Uh oh. The CCP. She's going down. Nice. Okay, so that's that's how we get into Bermuda, I guess. <laughs> yep, yeah, we're crying a lot, recovering from the shock. So pretty much, like each run of this game basically has uh, randomized conversations and stuff. So each run will be different. So you can totally watch multiple people play it, and it'll actually be different each time. Hey everyone, let's regroup and talk a bit. Uh, thank you everyone for helping making a camp. That's heartwarming to see we are sticking together after the, you know, the horror that happened. Let's take a moment to introduce ourselves since we may live together for a while now. I'm Alice, 45, and this is my husband Robert. We come from Montreal. I love hiking and cooking. Pleased to meet you all. You can call me Bob, guys. Don't know what to say. I like to tinker a bit at home. Oh, and going fishing on Sundays. Okay, thanks. So my name is Alejandro. I'm 32. You all know me, I think. I was the manager at the holiday resort you were staying in. It was my flight to my first holidays in 10 years, so yeah. Hi, I'm Dr. Bethany Winters, coming from London. If you need medical help, come see me. Uh, my dad doesn't speak much. Please excuse him. I'm Ilyana, 16. We're coming from a small village in Russia. Ah, and Julia married my dad last summer. Hello, everything's already said. Don't expect me to reveal my age or I should have to silence you forever. Yeah, okay, she's a bit interesting. Are we finished? We are wasting precious time. We must organize ourselves. I'm Jacob and I know how to survive in a in a host in in hostile environment. I've been preparing for this eventuality all my life. While you were all uselessly crying, I went around and found a large water tank containing clear water and enough resources to make a fire. You're right, Jacob. But before that, I suggest that we take a moment of silence in the honor of those who didn't survive the crash. They will haunt my nights until I leave this world. Okay, so in our discretion, we got a lot of things done. And we get one of these every three days. Well, every three things. You'll see. After every day, we get a discussion window like this. So from that discussion, we got some wood, some stone, some tinder. Uh, everyone's depression went up. And yeah, pretty much everyone's depression went up. It looks like one person got more depressed and one person got less depressed. Welcome to Bermuda. This is the camp view where you will assign characters to activities they will perform during the day. You can move your mouse left and right to view all of the camp. Characters are assigned to action slots. Right now they are all assigned to fire camp's action slot which is talk. To move a character you can either drag and drop him on a new slot or right click him and click again on the desired action slot. So we have to move someone to the plane to sca scavenge. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do something that it's not really going to show me. I'm going to look at all of their skills, and I'm going to look at scavenging. Who is my best scavenger? That would be Yuri. So I'm going to take Yuri and move him over to the plane. Uh, this character will search the crash site for useful resources, but beware seeing the dead passenger's corpses will increase his depression. The, there are five states in the game, hunger, depression, sickness, injury, and fatigue. If any of them reaches 100, the character dies. Uh, move two characters to the research slot at the library. So, who is good at researching? Um, intelligence, I believe is what they use for researching. So, we want Ilyana and Winters. Oh, Ilyana and Julia. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, or is it knowledge? Intelligence? Okay, so yeah, it is 
Okay, it's it's intelligent. So Ilyana and Julia are going to be my my peeps for this. Ilyana, we'll just move you over there. Read your book over there. And Julia, the not so nice one. Uh, these characters will search for new crafting plans. Once the progress gauge reaches 100%, you'll discover a new recipe. The efficiency of every task is tied to a specific skill. Each character has different strengths and weaknesses. Uh, move three other characters to the explore slots in the jungle. So, we will look at this. Who is good at exploration? Alice looks like she's really good. Julia is busy right now. Uh, Alejandro, I guess... Alejandro, Winters... And Alice look like they're gonna be my options here. So Alice. There we go. Alejandro. Boop. And Winters. Here we go. These ones will explore the island. You can select which square to explore by clicking on the jungle and then clicking on the corresponding action in the action wheel, else they will explore randomly. Last thing to do now, make a fire. To craft new things, click on the workshop, then choose, uh, then on choose crafting recipe and select a recipe. So here's the map. This is where they're going to explore. We are right here, and I can tell them which one to explore too, but, uh, not really concerned about that right now. So we have Jacob and Bob. So. Jacob has a crafting of 39, and Bob has a crafting of 44. Wait, did I, I put the wrong one over there, right? Bob is the one that has the higher one. Get, get out of here, Jacob. Just get back to your fire. And Bob, you get to come do the, uh, do the thing. And then we click on the workshop, choose a crafting recipe, and we would like a fire camp. Which... Conveniently enough is what Jacob collected all the materials for. Good, each crafting recipe consumes resources that you can get by scavenging the plane and the island. To unlock new recipes, you must discover them first with the research action at the library. Then conveniently have the exact amount of resources to craft the fire camp, so... Yeah, you ha conveniently have all of them, right. So, uh, alas... Right, so it wants us to actually assign both characters to the crafting place. There we go. Looks good, everyone is assigned a task, and now we can advance. So, it is sort of like a turn-based thing, so if I advance, it's gonna go through all of the actions and see what happens. So first it's gonna start from the left, he scavenged some wood, some rope, some meals, great, more meals, ooh, some fruit, a pillow, some coffee cups, his fatigue and his depression goes up from doing all of that work, and then it's gonna go into the crafting, which is gonna get us our fire. Uh, we finished crafting the recipe fire camp. That will definitely help. We managed to make a fireplace with the, a few rocks and started a fire with wood and a special mushroom called tinder. You can assign characters to the talk action around fire, lowering their depression. Fire camp added to the camp. So, there we go. We got our fire camp. And they're a little bit fatigued from doing that. And they had a bit of conversation there, so their relationship actually went up a bit. And these two researched a shelter. So now, if we have the materials, we can make a sleeping area. And their fatigue goes up from doing all of that. And they had a conversation and it didn't go so well. But, over here, they just discovered... They got pretty fatigued, but they discovered a new area. And they all had a conversation there. That's the basics. Have you noticed the time has passed and results of your character's actions? You should have discovered a new crafting recipe and scavenged through... Yeah. So, uh, select the new recipe. No, I'm actually going to the map. So basically what happens here is, you know, it's probably going to explain that to me in a tutorial and I don't want to like mess up the game. So select the new recipe in the workshop. Sleeping area. We do have everything for that. So we're absolutely going to do that. Crafting is important in the game and it will add new possibilities of actions within the camp. So don't forget it. You should have picked up some food for tonight in the plane so this won't be a problem for today. We also have some fruits that you can use to convert to water supplies. So if we come over to our water tank, which is just this barrel here that says Genesis, we can check our water supplies. We have 50 left and we can convert our fruit into some water supplies. So I'm actually going to do that because we don't want that running out. Uh, if it's zero, if it hits zero, it's game over. And that's, that's usually pretty bad. Your characters are a bit depressed. You can lower the depression by making them talk around the camp 
campfire. So we're gonna take our two most depressed people, who is Yuri and I guess anyone else really. We'll take Yuri and one of our explorers. Let's see who's the worst explorer over here. Him. Alejandro and Yuri. Because he's he's pretty sad. You can lower the states of your characters by different means. One of the more direct approaches is to use special items on them for an instant effect. Use coffee cup on a character. So if I click on Yuri and I use an item here, you can see that minus 10% fatigue, minus 10% depression. He probably needs the depression hit. So don't forget to use your special items. They will make your life many times easier and they are available to everyone. I also discovered a new area. So let's go to the map, click on our new area. When you send your characters exploring the island, you unlock new areas that can be visited at any time. On each square there's an object and their location are randomized on each new game, so that's part of the replayability there. You can freely interact with the object, it doesn't pass time, but instead you have a chance to be attacked by a nasty beast, depending on how stealthy the chosen character is. So if I click on this moist suitcase and I want to search it, I have to look at who is really good at like stealth and fighting and scavenging. It looks like Julia is going to be my best option here, so let's try to sneak with her. 71% chance. Success! No monster. Um, we got some fabric, two magazines, and some painkillers. Not bad. So that square is pretty much done. And now what's going to happen is these people are going to explore, and I can tell them that I want them to explore a certain area, but I'm really not concerned about it. Nope. Over here. And then these people are going to research, which is good, and these people are going to start working on the sleeping area, which is pretty necessary. So we're going to hit next. And then after this is going to be like a nighttime phase. So they got 28% through the sleeping area. And they had a not so good conversation. Just gonna have a sip of water while this happens. Mmm. My people don't seem to like each other. And I don't like the talking thing that happens here. So talking around the campfire gets rid of some uh, fatigue and depression. And a new trait was discovered. Um, sickness decreased by an additional 1 to 5 every night. So he's like really good against being sick. And they didn't have such a great conversation either. Jeez. New area discovered, though. That's good. Wow, no one had a good talk. And now we're gonna have a randomized conversation here. Actually, it might not for the first night, but uh... Okay, good work everyone, I know it's hard, but we managed to scavenge some food in the in that damaged plane. I'm sure there's more if we continue to search the place. But it will only last for a few days. After that, we'll be on our own. Anyone knows how to hunt? I do, but not with my bare hands. We'll need to find or craft some tools. Let's share the food we found right now. We should ration our daily meals. And water, too. An average man dies after only three days without water. A frightening thought. Don't worry, we can make juice out of fruits. The island is covered in jungle, we'll find plenty. Yeah, that was a very good idea you had today, Eliana. We'll need plenty of those if we want to survive until help comes. What help? We should at least try to reach the jungle. Maybe someone lives here. Yes. And if we find a big tiger, we're dead. Well, tomorrow is another day. Good night, everyone. So, what I'm assuming is gonna happen here is Alejandro and Julia's, um... Their friendliness is gonna go down. Good night, Alice. So, all of that happens. And then we're gonna get, like, a screen. Each night, or almost, your characters will chat with each other. There are conditions to trigger these dialogues and randomized elements, so you won't have the same dialogues each new game. You share the food, each food has its own nutritious value, and perishable food has a chance to degrade each night. So let's see. Our best food, we have 6 of those, and it heals 20 to 30%. Our next best is some 10 to 20%, and you can see some of these get really sickly. So I'm going to use these just before they degrade. Because I really don't want it 
degrading and going to waste. And then she will get one of those. And I guess Eliana can eat too. So there we go, we don't have a lot of food, but we'll get more from the plane. Uh, fire intensity goes down by 29%. We ate, drink eight water. One of our two meals have degraded into barely edible stuff. Ilyana's mood is moody and sleepy. Everyone gets like more depressed and sleepy. Okay, next day. Did you notice perishable food has a chance of deteriorating? Also, your fire decreased in intensity. When it drops to 0%, you lose your fire. And we can throw wood onto the fire. So if I click the fire, do this, convert one wood into 10 to 20%. Intensity, so I do that. Uh, when assigning more than one character to a task, its efficiency depends on each character's skill and relationship. The relationship will also progress, but there's a slight chance that they will argue instead. Each action is tied to one or several skills, and these progress automatically every time they are used. And when you level, a character can level up, and you can assign points to whatever skills you want. So, that is sort of what's happening here. And that's like the super, super fast intro to the game. I didn't want to spend too much time on the tutorial because I don't really think that I need the tutorial after seeing it once. So we had one spot that was uncovered, and it was a fisherman basket. That sounds good. We want her to go because she has high stealth. Success, nice. You almost faint from the smell, but you managed to loot something from the fisherman basket. We got a basket. Some fish. Some bait. Nice. Okay, we want to keep Bob and Jacob on here to do research. Er, to uh, work on the sleeping area, my bad. We want them to stay on here to continue doing research. We have 11 uses left of the plane, so... We've got to keep using that up, getting the materials while we have... Ooh, let me turn this down. Music got really loud in my ears. We have to keep using that until we can hunt for our own food. So let's go next. So he's gonna get us some wood, some rope, a meals, meals, fruit, good for water, axe, nice, tools, ooh, that's really good. I assume all of that is, like, not randomized. Their skill in crafting went up. They're working on it. We almost have a sleeping area. Ooh, he even got a strength. But we really want the sleeping area because everyone's getting really fatigued, and talking around the fire helps a little bit, but it doesn't really get rid of all the fatigue. Sleeping is what helps get rid of a lot of fatigue. And that's actually something I messed up on my first, uh, my first playthrough, is I didn't... I didn't realize I didn't actually finish the sleeping area. So, everyone was just like, super fatigued. Okay, another new area. Wooden crate, sure. I want to search it. She still has really good stealth. And pretty good fighting, so I think she's still my best option even though her scavenging kind of sucks. Nice. Okay, you pry open the crate and search for something useful. Coffee cup. Spices. Medicinal plants. Yeah, I think she would get more if I actually... I think I can still scavenge for some wood. If her scavenging were higher, I think this would be a lot better. Uh-oh. Monster attack. Blech. So she got a little bit of injury, but she still goes through with this. So she got one more scavenging skill, got a couple woods and some nails. And her fatigue goes up. Uh, I want this to continue going. I want pretty much everything that's happening to continue happening. And I'm also going to just throw all of my fruit in there. So it's a bit slow right now because I only have so many tasks open, but I'm working on getting the research to get the next few tasks open, and Yuri is really depressed. Alright, we can finish the crafting of the sleeping area. That'll definitely help. I can now assign three characters to take a nap, lowering their fatigue. So, psh, sleepy area. It's really big too. But that'll probably help for someone like Jacob over here. He's in a rough spot, fatigue-wise. Uh, we needed- we need some tools to help us gather resources in the jungle, since the resources we can scavenge from the plane crash are not infinite. So now we have gathering tools that we can, uh, work on. We're getting along. Exploration. Got another place open. Then everyone's getting fatigued. 
We're still not too bad on a lot of the characters, though. And here's our knight. So, Alejandro, where do you come from? I was starting to believe that I've lived at work forever, but my real home is in Spain, Bar Barcelona. Do you have family there? A wife? Children? <laughs> no. I was married to work, but yeah, I have a lot of dear friends back at home. I was planning to give them a big hug. It's been almost ten years since I last came back. That's sad. A handsome man like you with a good situation. Girls should have been lining up to put the hook on you. Uh-uh, I've had girlfriends if that's what you mean. Or if that's what you're asking, but it's true that I regret a bit that I haven't found my special someone. Maybe I wasn't ready well. Or maybe you were afraid, but well dear, I'm sure you'll find your someone if we get out of here alive. I would be delighted if my little girl found a gentleman like you. I already see myself knitting for my grandchildren. Oh Jesus. Yeah, if we get out of here, that's the thing. So, Alice's opinion about Alejandro goes up, and Alejandro's depression goes up. Because that conversation basically brought up a lot of his regrets in his past. But, um, she really likes him, so there's that. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use one of these on pretty much everyone that's above like 15%. And then I can use like the 5 to 18% that'll make him a little bit sick, but if I remember correctly, he's a never sick. So he his uh his thing is basically like, I don't, I don't really get sick. And she's fine. No one's like super hungry, so these will all deteriorate a bit. Fire intensity goes down, water supplies go down, meals are degrading, people are getting very tired, Julia and Jacob need like some sleep. Yeah, so they're probably going to get assigned to the sleepy spot right quick. Jacob. Ta Jacob. Jacob. It's night night time. There you go. And Julia is like super fatigued too. And let's actually check this place out. Machete! Uh, you find a machete. You wonder where its owner is. You hope he's not a psychopath. Yeah, that would be great. And if I remember right, he's like super depressed. So we'll just have him stop scavenging for a bit. Is anyone else like really bad on depression? Um, no, not really. I'm just going to take one of my scavengers or my explorers off. His fatigue is a little bit high, Alejandro. And they can't talk to themselves. They need someone to talk to over here. So that's why I had to have someone with him. And then we need to assign this a new task. Gathering tools. I have everything. Oh, because I found the machete just now. Nice. So he can start working on the gathering tools. Next. Take all the resources and start working on my gathering tools. Boot a boot a boot. 20%. And his fatigue is going up, of course. Knowledge. Okay. Yep, they're talking, getting rid of some of that depression. Some of that fatigue. Oh, he's an open book. Uh, new traits are discovered faster. Okay. I don't know if he can have more than four traits. Night, night time. Yeah, sleep it off. And they are not getting along. Why would they? Exploration, exploration. Nice, we still found a new area despite not having three people there. That's good. It's probably because her skill is so high and they are not getting along together either. So if I look, I can look at... I forgot what I was looking at. What the hell was I just looking at? Right, I can actually look at their thing. So like, Ilyana is a gymnast, her agility skills improve faster, depression decreases every night, so she's pretty good on depression. And we can also see like their individual relationships. So like Yuri, he's really friendly with Ilyana. And like not so friendly with Jacob or Alice. So gotta work on that a bit. Let's check out what is over here. Oh talk to the crazy old geezer. Uh we need someone high on high on discussion, I think. 67? Alice, talk to him. Uh, a human being, so we are not alone on this damned island. With great expectations, you try to speak to the old geezer. You even scream at him, but nothing will do. He won't budge a charred finger. 
With your high hopes torn to pieces, you leave him behind, thinking about what you would, what you will say to your comrades when the guy starts muttering a litany of random gibberish words. Uh, communicate. Nice. After a while, trying to understand a single word coming from his mouth, you start to grasp a mean, a means to enter in, into communication with him. You sit next to him in the same position and close your eyes. You try to make one with the river of words, and they are now gently flowing into your head one by one, caressing your mind. Like possessed by a higher, like possessed by a higher force, you dive into a sea of words in your mind, reach the bottom, and pick up three shells. On the shells, you see three words written in blood in an unknown language. Yet you understand them. You get out of your hypnotic trance with the words, the prophecy, find, and love dancing in your head. So Alice, wow, she actually got some intelligence and some knowledge, and her depression went down from that. Can I search him? Search him. Success! What do we get? The old guy has scavenged rusty, antenna rusty antennas and steel pikes, but they won't budge. Behind him you find some bottles full of translucent liquid. You decide to take them. He, uh, he doesn't react. Okay. Healing water! Nice! So, we found a crazy old geezer in some shells. Um, how is everyone's fatigue? Ileana's going up, Jacob is going down. Um, I still want Jacob... I want everyone to have a chance to sleep. You know what, let's take Jacob off. He's gonna continue to craft. Bob is gonna go sleep. You are going to... Oh, her depression and fatigue is bad. Like, I'm trying really, really hard to not let people get, like, incredibly depressed. Uh, fatigue is a little bit high and depression is green, but could be better. And Ilyana... Eh, she's fine. <laughs> She's fine. Why not? Uh, let's see. Bob. Yeah, his fatigue is pretty high. I think this is good. I think this is a good start. Let's see what happens. And we really need those gathering tools started, so... That's why I'm working so hard on that. Keep researching, you little slave girl. 16 years old, doing all the work. Good, her depression went down. His is... He, is, he does bad with depression. That seems like that's going to be Yuri's rough spot there. Bob is taking a nap. Ooh, nice! And they found a new area. Nice. So I think I'm going to get through the night phase, and then I will wrap it up for this part. So, who is this crazy dude with the antenna? Oh, we're talking about the crazy guy. Who is this crazy dude with the antennas? Finding another human being on this island so soon. Talk about luck. Was he even alive, though? I didn't dare touch him to take his pulse. There was this strange aura around him. It didn't feel very safe. He seemed to be in some sort of meditation, no? Dead or alive, he didn't help much. I'd say completely useless. If you let me do my way, I'll have him talk for sure. It's not your cozy, sheltered reality anymore. You must realize that now. What was it he was mumbling about? We clearly all understood the words find love and prophecy. It may be a clue to, clue to something. <laughs> it's not your dumb fantasy books, it's reality here. The only thing we know is that we know nothing and that is... <laughs> I'm sorry, I totally screwed up how to say that. The only thing we know is that we know nothing, and that is the highest flight of human wisdom. That could be our only hope still. Let's keep on searching the area and check on anything that could tie us to these words. So, depression actually went down for everyone. That's good! But Ilyana's opinion about Jacob and Jacob's opinion about Ilyana kinda... kinda went down a bit. Because of the whole fantasy book thing. Uh, sometimes people just don't understand. Feed her, feed her... Feed... Feed... Let's do an 8-12% to 12 on him. Uh... And then 8 to 12% on her. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, fire intensity went down. Water supplies went down. 
Uh, people are getting really tired. Ilyana, Jacob, and Alice are very tired. So, next time, we are going to take care of some more of our people. I hope you're enjoying Dead in Bermuda. It looks like a really fun game, so I'm hoping I get to see the end of it. My name's Nagurk, and thank you for watching.